Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create invoices within your Design Files account, how to send those out to your clients, and how to collect payment. So let's go ahead, we're gonna jump right in and I'll show you exactly how this works. Let's use this project as our example. So let's say that I've been working with this client for a while and they have approved a number of items uh, for order and I wanna go ahead and bill them for those products before I place the orders. So what I can do is I can go into the project, at the top of the project, I'll see the project navigation and I'm gonna click into invoices. Now that's gonna take me to the invoice overview page and it's gonna show me any other invoices that I have already created within this uh, particular project and it'll show me the status of that invoice. And if I wanna create a brand new one, I'll just click the create invoice button here and that will take me straight into the invoice template. Now here, I'm going to see my client's name has already been pulled in. If your client's name hasn't been pulled in yet because you haven't added them to the project, you can just click here and then select them from the list or add them. You've got your invoice ID here. You can add in a description if you like. You've got your issue date, terms for payment, and your contact information for your client. Now up here, you have a configure button. And if I click on that, it's gonna open up this panel where it's actually gonna allow me to uh, include additional details into this invoice. So if I want to include extra product information, I would just turn the toggles on for any of those details, and then that will show within the invoice. So let's go ahead and we'll just add material and finish and description for now, and I'm gonna save the changes. Down at the bottom, you'll see that you've got a few buttons. So you can add products to the invoice, you can add manual line items, and you can add tracked hours. So we'll start with the products. I'm gonna click into that, and it's gonna open up this panel right here, where it's gonna show me all the items that I added to this project. And I could choose to narrow that down by design board, I could choose to narrow it down by vendor, by price, or I could search by a specific product name or tag. Now over here, you also have the option to switch over to your main library. So if there was an item that you want to include within this invoice, but you didn't actually add it to the project, you can just switch over to your library and you can pull it in from here. I'm gonna go back to the project option first, or just for a second here, because there's one other filter that I do wanna to touch on, and it's this one right here. So this is a great filter because if you have been allowing your client to come in and approve items on the product list level, then you can just narrow it down to all the approved products, and the system's gonna give you that curated list of every single item that the client gave you the thumbs up on, you click this checkbox right here and you automatically add all those items directly to your invoice. And the system will pull in all the product information for you so that you're not wasting any time to manually add this in yourself. Now, for each of these line items, you'll see a small image of the product, the product name. In this case, I included the product description and the material and finish. And over here, we'll see the unit price, quantity, markup, and the client facing price. And the client facing price is the only price your client sees. Over here, we've got a column for taxes, for shipping costs, and for the totals. So if I scroll down here to the bottom of the invoice, you'll see that I can select the tax rate that I want to apply to this invoice. So I'm just gonna click into this menu here. It's gonna show all the tax rates that I've added, and then I would just pick the one that I want to include. And if I haven't added any yet, I can just click down at the bottom here to add a sales tax. Now, if you only have the one tax rate that you're gonna be using for all of your projects, you can actually go into your account settings up here and you'll see that there's an option where you can apply a global tax rate for all of your projects. And then it'll just populate into any quotes, invoices, or purchase orders that you're gonna create. Now here you've got your column for uh, shipping costs. So let's just go ahead and we'll add in um, some amounts here for these products. It doesn't really matter what amount it is, we're just kind of using fake numbers for now. But if I add in shipping costs here, you're gonna see that it shows down at the bottom of your invoice. And if you need to tax the shipping costs, you would just turn this toggle on. If that doesn't apply to you, keep it off. And if you like the idea of having your shipping costs show on a line item level, then you can turn this toggle on. Or if you're fine with it just showing as a lump sum at the bottom of your invoice, you can leave it off. Now over here, you can also add in manual line items. So if I click into this, let's say that I want to add in my design fee. So I'm gonna put that in here. I can switch this from product to service. 
I can put in the total amount that I'm gonna be billing my client, and I can also choose to uncheck the tax here. So if I don't need to add tax for my services, then I'm just gonna uncheck it. You also, at the end of each of your line items, you'll see that there's a trash can here. So if you've added some items to your uh, invoice and you just wanna remove them, just click the trash can icon. Here, you'll also see that you can add in tracked hours. So if you've been using the, the design files time tracker, whenever you come into your account, you would just select the project you're working on, add in a note indicating the task you're working on and start your timer. If you've been using that, it means that you can then pull all of those tracked hours into your invoice. And you would do that by clicking this button here. It's gonna show you how many hours you have available to uh, bill your client. And you would choose if you wanted to add all of them for a specific time range. And you can also choose if you wanna break that down on an individual line item level to show how much time you spent on each task or just group it all into one lump sum. You'd put in your hourly rate, and add the uh, hours to your invoice and everything will tally up for you. Now at the bottom of your invoice, you'll see that you do have the option to add notes. So if there is standard language that you'd like to include for all of your invoices, you can actually type it in here and save it as a preset. And then you can load in those presets for all future invoices. So it's just a quick way to save you some time and just add in that standard uh, copy that you'd like to include with all your documents. Down here, you can also add attachments. And below that, you'll see that you've got your options for payment. So if you have not yet set up your Stripe account uh, with Design Files, we use Stripe as our payment processor. So if it's the first time that you're creating an invoice within your Design Files account, and you come down here, you'll see a message. And that message is basically gonna say, you know, do you wanna be able to accept online payments for your invoices? And it'll have a link where you can jump over to Stripe and you can create your free Stripe account. And then there'll be a step where you're just going to connect your Stripe account to your Design Files account. When you've completed that, you can come back into your invoice and you'll see that you have these options available now. So you can turn the toggles on if you want to allow your client to pay by credit card or by bank transfer. And just a heads up, the, banks, the bank transfer option is only available to our US members at this time. So we'll be expanding this for our international members. Now there is a processing fee. So if you want to allow your clients to pay by credit card, the processing fee is 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. And if you uh, want to use the bank transfer payment, the processing fee is 1.1% plus 30 cents per transaction. And here you can push the processing fee onto your client. So if you want them to cover it, instead of you covering it, just turn this toggle on. You also have the option to request a deposit. So if you want your client to just pay for a portion of this um, invoice up front, you can turn this toggle on. Over here, you'll see that you can do a dollar amount or a percentage amount. So I'm gonna put in 50% and then you'll see the deposit amount show. Now from here, you can choose to send the invoice off to your client or if you wanna see what this invoice is gonna look like before you send it out, you can click the option here to save it as a draft and preview it. When I do that, you're gonna see that the system is gonna generate your invoice. So the invoice will be branded to your business. Instead of our logo showing here, it will be your logo. You'll see your invoice details, contact details for you and your client, and then you'll see the full breakdown of all the items that you added to your invoice. Now, if I had sent this invoice out to my client, they would be able to come in, review it. They can click the button to pay the deposit online. They're gonna choose the credit card or the ACH bank transfer option, fill in the details, and here you'll see the processing fee, which has already been added to the overall total here. So your client will click the button, they're gonna pay for this deposit, and when they do that, this invoice will then show as paid within your design files account, and you'll also be notified by email. So you'll always know when your client has made payment. So if you're ready to send this invoice off to your client, you can go ahead and you can click the button to send the invoice. It's gonna open up this panel right here where you're gonna see your client has already been added. You can add a new recipient if you like. You can add in your own subject line. You can add in your own message. And of course, again, if you've got standard email messages that you like to use, you can always save them as a preset and then load those in. So it's just another time saver for you. You can also send yourself a copy and then go ahead and send this invoice out to your client. Now, if your client 
does not want to pay by credit card or by bank transfer. What you can do is you can just turn these toggles off here and um, instead of allowing them to pay by credit card or bank transfer, you can just add a note in here indicating how you would like to get paid. And when your client, you could send this invoice off to your client and when they've made the payment, you can actually record the payment manually within your account. So I'm gonna back out of this invoice here and then I'll show you how to make those manual payments. Okay, so let's say that my client has gone ahead and they've paid me my, by a check instead. So what I can do is I can come into my invoice overview page once my client has paid me. I'm gonna go into the button with the three dots over here and I'm gonna click the option to record a payment. Here, I'll be able to say what payment method um, I received from the client and then I can just add in the amount. So let's just say the client paid me for the full amount here. You can add in a date, you can add in any notes, and you would just record the payment. And then this invoice, again, will show as paid within your account. So whether your client wants to pay online or if they want to pay outside of the system, you have the ability to record and track those payments. So there you have it. That's basically how the uh, invoice feature within Design Files works. If you have any questions about any of the steps that I've gone over within this video, feel free to reach out to the team on the live chat. They're always available to help. And if you have any additional questions about using retainers or um, doing refunds, pop into the learn section, go to videos and webinars, go down to billing payments and packages. And in here, you will see uh, detailed videos that will walk you through doing refunds and using retainers and other videos that cover our invoicing PO and quote features. So pop in there. Definitely check out all of those uh, individual tools. Um, and of course, thanks so much for watching.